So we have here Giant 2016. 2016, let's have a little squiz. We'll drop down. Well, we've got the men's. Got the new TCR. I've covered this one before. Some new Propel colors. TCR Advanced SL. Got Mechanical Durace, Electronic Durace. Some pretty smithy colors. Some spiffy colors. New Advanced SL, same as 2015. No changes there, it doesn't look like. Uh, other than just paint and wheel spec. But the frame seems to be identical. The alloy disc is a new bike though. Uh, coming in a disc option, all only disc. So there's a, there's a few there's a few new bikes. No well the main the main change is the TCR, it's the, the big big difference in the, this year's fast road Chrome max, nothing else so much has changed. But again, TCR, let's have a look at the girls. Bikes, women on road. Envy. The Vale is my favourite women's bike on the market at the moment. Comes in a lot of different models. Alloy. Uh, disc option. Good if you live in wet weather. Standard brake option. If you've got a bit more bickies, one of the carbon ones. But if you're just starting out, it's good to go alloy. Because everyone's going to have a few crashes and carbon just brakes a lot easier. But uh, that's what I, And these bikes are just, just as good as carbon anyway, in my opinion. And the lifestyle bikes. These bikes are cool, but I, I'd recommend just get a road bike. And then you go from there. Because these days, the road bikes are a lot different from 10 years ago. The, the geometry is higher, so it's a bit more relaxed in the back. But most girls these days do yoga. Got some decent flexibility. Even if you don't, generally girls have better flexibility anyway. And the more you ride, the more your flexibility is going to go on. Let's go Crossroads, the new uh, TCX. I think it looks like the same frame as last year. Correct me if I'm wrong. The Revolt looks the same. The Comax looks the same. Any Road and Any Road looks the same. Tough Road looks like a new bike. That's like an interesting beast. That's like what a... Uh, Something different. Tough road. This is a good one. But any road is a good bike. Uh, I've ridden one of these. They're pretty good. Pretty stiff. And the Revolt as well. Giant. It's pretty hard to go wrong with giant bikes these days. It's got something for everyone. Women off road. X road. Brava. The Invite is another good bike that I recommend. The Invite. It's a uh, difference between the Invite and the Veil. Basically, similar geometry. The Invite can just handle fatter tyres, so if you do more gravel stuff, then perhaps go an invite or an any road. Otherwise, uh, yeah, still good bikes. What else have we got here? Mountain bike. This is where Giant disappoints me, because they're going the 27.5, the 650B. I'm a fan of the 29er. The 29er. Oh, I don't know if see it. I mean, the 29ers, man. I've got, a, I've got my Giant 29er. I fucking love it, man. I'm a fan of the 29er. Fan of the 29, let's have a look what they've got here. This is the only bike that matters to me in off road this year. It's got an advanced, same, same as the last few years. Nice carbon frame, good group set. What's on this group set here? I wonder if they've dropped the overdrive 2 steerer. It's hard to say from here. Just a 1 by 11 tram. But no, these are nice bikes. If you're looking for a 29 mountain bike, these are good. Women, just have a sniff out. Obsess. 27s. I'm not a fan of the 27. Not bad, but I'm just. I love the 29er, man. I love 29, especially if you're a taller rider. So there you go. So it'll wrap up for the giant. Will I get one? I mean, these are these are these are the best carbon frames you can get. I've already got one for the older model, but uh, they just can't get better than them. Really, I mean, this is fucking unreal. They're making such good carbon bikes these days. Not bad color either. Tire clearance. We'll see what the tire clearance is like. But uh, yeah, post your comments and questions down below. I'll see you in the next video.